Hello, uh, thanks so much for being here and for uh, tuning into this tutorial. I hope that this is a value add for you as a photographer. Um, I wanna talk about how I take fire photos and how you can take amazing fire photos too. Uh, so these are a couple of the pictures that I've taken uh, and I've been asked by a few people that I know to, to make a tutorial about this, uh, to make it easier for them to take photos uh, like it as well. So uh, I hope that you like this video. If you do, please comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm starting to make more tutorials uh, similar to this one. All right, we've got three tips for you and two bonus tips. Three and two. Three, two. <laughs> okay. Uh, tip number one is only ever shoot at dusk. This is really important. A lot of people, when they take fire photos, uh, try to try to shoot during the day uh, and there's just way too much light with the sun above the horizon line uh, Whenever it is above the horizon line when it shines on the fire. It's, it's translucent and transparent You have like a perfect window of opportunity uh, When the Sun drops below the horizon line for about 30 minutes before it's too dark to take fire photos uh, When the fire can be perfectly lit as well as the foreground and the background being really lit uh, So shoot at dusk. Tip number two is uh, have good settings. So these are the settings I use I shoot at 1 over 800 uh, as far as the shutter speed goes, 1 over 800 or 1 over 1000 typically. I like to really stop the motion of the fire. Um, and then for aperture, I shoot at f1.4. Uh, I shoot on a uh, 24 millimeter, it's a prime lens, so it can stop down to f1.4. If you have like a 16 to 35 or a 24 to 70, uh, you, you should be able to stop down to 2.8. That'll work for this, uh, but I would suggest if you want to get a lot of good blur within your image, a lot of good bokeh, you'd want to use a prime lens, either a 24 or a 35. So I shoot at f1.4, and then my ISO I typically keep at 100, uh, and depending on how long the sun's been below the horizon line, I might bump it up to 1,000, but I never really do more than that. I try to keep it at 100 uh, to reduce any noise in the picture. Tip number three. Uh, shoot at a wide angle. So I, I use a 24 millimeter like I just said uh, and I would recommend you doing the same thing. I, I like the 24. Uh, you can get away with a 35 but I wouldn't go any, any more zoomed in um, than that. So basically what I do with a wide angle is I get really close to the fire um, which allows me to, to have a lot of good depth within the photo. Um, so I like to shoot really wide. You should shoot it wide as well. Bonus tip number one. Uh, bring a friend with you. Uh, so when I take these photos instead of me trying to make the fire uh, like produce embers. I have a friend with me who has a stick and they hit the fire and then it, it shoots up a lot of embers which is wonderful uh, and, and it, it creates a lot of cool effects. So bring a friend with you, give them a stick. If you're by yourself, I've used rocks before and I've thrown rocks at the fire which is, which is a good way to do that as well. Uh, but it doesn't create as much, uh, as, as many embers. Bonus tip number two. What was bonus tip number two? Yes, okay, I'm so sorry. Bonus tip number two. Shoot with the wind blowing at you. So this will be really helpful to help create a lot of depth within your photo. Uh, as soon as your friend hits the fire with the stick, embers are gonna blow at you, they're gonna blow around your lens, and it's gonna create this really cool effect where the fire is very in focus, and as, as you get farther away from the fire, more stuff is out of focus. You're gonna have this beautiful bokeh uh, within the image, and it'll be really awesome. So I would recommend doing that. Uh, to protect your equipment, use a UV filter. Uh, that's what I have on all of my lenses. Um, and you might like burn a hole through your shirt, so don't wear your favorite shirt. Uh, but I promise it'll be worth it. You'll really like the photo. Uh, and if you don't want to burn a hole in your shirt, just forget about everything I said. Just don't even take fire photos. That's it. That's the whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a tip that I didn't think of, I'd love uh, to hear it. And if you take any photos like this, I'd love for you to tag me on Instagram or uh, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is at guth.co. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see you in the next video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, send me your fire photos. I'm excited to see them. So is Leela, as you can tell. All right, goodbye. <laughs>